Boys and girls, Tears of the King will be releasing this Friday, which means we won't be needing this anymore. So before the game comes out, I'd like to give my two cents and some ideas for things that could be in the game. Now keep in mind this is all just speculation and whether or not any of this stuff actually ends up being in the game is pretty negligible to how I'm going to feel about how the overall game experience is going to be. I can already tell that this is going to be one of the best games of all time. Anyways. The Terrytown side quest was mine and many others' favorite in the game. Building up your town and meeting all these quirky characters on the way was really fun, so I'm hoping that an official town building mode is a main feature of the game. As seeing that we see those tents in the trailer, I think it's actually a real possibility this time around, and it would just be really cool. Additionally, it'd be pretty neat if there's some sort of tower defense aspect to this. I'd imagine maybe every blood moon or so a horde of enemies would try to attack your base and it's up to you and your villagers to stop them. I think you could even utilize the Ultra Hand with this, maybe make some sort of contraption like what's seen in the trailer. And as seeing as it seems villagers fight alongside you, I think you could have that work with this whole idea as well. I don't know, it's a pretty neat concept and I hope something like that's in the game. One of my favorite things for Breath of the Wild was the random minigame scattered throughout Hyrule. My favorites were the snow bowling and of course the paragliding, so I really hope we get more of these in Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I don't know what they could do, but I'm sure they could get creative, especially with the Ultra Hand and Fuse. There's so many possibilities, but there definitely needs to be some more minigames, as well as the old ones. Nintendo, are you really going to let Sonic's open world game have a fishing mechanic before yours? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fishing mechanics are really fun in games, and I'm really sad that Breath of the Wild doesn't have an actual like fishing rod item. I mean, sure, the game does have uh, fishing, but it's a little more uh, unconventional, some might say. I think, yeah, a fishing rod item would be just really cool, um, and just add more to the world. And with the fuse mechanic, I could think of a ton of different combinations to use. We've already seen through the trailers that the enemy variety has been greatly expanded since Tears of the Kingdom, which is a good thing, because that was one of the biggest criticisms I had with that game. There was just not that many different types of enemies or bosses, so I'm glad that they've addressed that. that being said, I still hope that we get some more new types of enemies and bosses in Tears of the Kingdom that we haven't seen yet. Some, I'm just spitballing here, but some uh, guys that I'd like to see might be Gibdo, Goma, and Moldorm. But we'll just have to wait and see until then. One of the biggest disappointments I had with Breath of the Wild was the first time I came across the Lorraine Village. I noticed the beautiful coral reefs and subsequently realized that they're completely inaccessible. I think a dive mode would be a really good addition to the game. And I do think it's actually a serious possibility this time around. Although some footage already shows that Link's swimming is basically the same. I think it would work more like the Zora armor where it requires some sort of piece of clothing or something to actually let Link dive into the water. It would just add so much to the world and I think it's a feature many people would want. And hey, we do see Link swimming through this bubble in one of the trailers, so I don't know, maybe it's an actual possibility. An even bigger disappointment in Breath of the Wild and six year old spoiler here, but once you beat the game nothing really changes within the world. Calamity Gain is still running amok in Hyrule Castle, and there's still malice everywhere. So I really hope in Tears of the Kingdom, once you defeat Gain once and for all, that you actually get the opportunity to explore Hyrule Castle and a semi-rebuilt Hyrule. Now lastly, this is just some sort of wild hope, and if it did actually happen, it would almost certainly be in some sort of DLC or something, but some sort of online multiplayer would be just incredible for this game. All the things you could do with the Ultra Hand and everything would just be phenomenal. The only reason this is actually on here is because Pokemon Scarlet and the Violet do actually have a multiplayer. And seeing as those games are on like piss, um, I think it's actually a possibility for this game to have some sort of functioning multiplayer. So those are just some things I hope are going to end up being in Tears of the Kingdom. I also hope that this video didn't end up being too much of a jab at all the issues Breath of the Wild has. It's not supposed to be that. It's just that Breath of the Wild has so many opportunities to be even better, which is why Tears of the Kingdom can't come any sooner. And that's basically all I have to say. Let me know what things you want to see in Tears of the Kingdom, and bye!